Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we're taking a look at the brand new book available from Vicar's Guide. This is Vicar's Guide to HK Volume 2. So Volume 1 was all about pistols. It was a paltry 400 pages long, covering all of HK's handgun designs. Volume 2, which I think initially was supposed to be basically all the long guns, had so much material they had to split it into pieces, and Volume 2 is now specifically just submachine guns and PDWs. And it's even longer than the handgun book, that is just over 550 pages long. This thing is a huge beast of a heavy book. So when I say HK submachine guns and PDWs, of course, that's going to cover all of the iconic models that you have in mind right now. So those notably are the MP5 and the MP7, of course, as well as the USC, the, the polymer attempted replacement for the MP5, and a number of prototype variations that came in between. So guns like the SMG1 and SMG2, the SMG2000, um, as well as like the HK54A1, the MP5 product improvement program. Uh, those are all covered in here. Now compared to the handgun book, there is a little bit less text data in this, but there are a whole lot more photos. And of course the book is like 25% larger overall, uh, actually more than that, like 30% larger. Uh, there are a number of vintage period photos from HK Marketing, as well as some pictures from instruction manuals and catalogs that give some cool extra depth to the book beyond what you would regularly expect from a Vickers guidebook, which is a tremendous amount of James Rupley's amazing photography. This is intended to be a coffee table book on the MP5, and if you, well, MP5 and all of the other HK SMGs, but let's, let's not kid ourselves here, the star of this show is the MP5. So the book starts with the very earliest surviving MP5 variation, which is actually designated MP64 uh, before it came or HK-64, became before it became the 54, which uh, that designation comes from HK's period uh, nomenclature of the first digit defining the type of gun and the second digit defining the caliber. So 5 is submachine gun, 4 is 9mm parabellum. Anyway, all the way from those very, very early models which look really super cool, especially the ones with the wooden handguards, through the original MP5s, the development of the SD, development of the MP5K, the MP5K PDW, uh, the, the, the product improvements, the midlife improvements, um, all the way through the current iteration of MP5 with all of the, the bells and whistles on them. Uh, same thing for the MP7, although there's less stuff with the MP7. You've got the original, the A1, the A2. Uh, and then throughout the book, uh, an assortment of things like UTM training variations, cutaways, the clear plastic guns that HK makes of some of their models, as well as prototypes of basically everything in here. Uh, by the way, there's the HK50 in here, which is the 9mm version of the G36 family. I bet you didn't even know that one existed. So uh, it's a very cool book. If you're into HK, if you're into the MP5 or the MP7 uh, or submachine guns in general, it I think will definitely be a book that'll show you some amazing views of guns that you very rarely get to see and a really cool way to see the entire history of these families all in one place. So it is just now becoming available, well it's just now available and shipping. Uh, you can get it at vickersguide.com or you can actually get it through Headstamp Publishing as well. I'll include links in the description text below. The standard version is $108 plus shipping. You also have options for signed books and slip cases and signed books in slip cases. Those options up the price, but you can see all of those at either Vickers Guide or Headstamp Publishing. So uh, it's a very cool book. I was part of some of the photography. I don't have any financial stake in this book, uh, but I was there to help with some of the photography. In fact, I have one cameo. You get to see my wrist in this book in an MP5 briefcase. So that's, that's my claim to fame here. Uh, it was really fun to see it come together, and it's a really cool product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.